Okay, so on Friday, we're going to be getting our FOMC um, entire meetings. We're going to be getting the SCP as well, which is the summary of economic projections. Okay, so first of all, let's get some of the expectation out of the way. Okay, if you have been in the stocks market, just look at your portfolio. In the past week, you've probably seen a lot of volatility happening. Okay, and of course, if you go over to the Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, New York Times, CNBC, it doesn't matter. Okay, you have seen a lot of the banks, such as JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs, actually putting out uh, their forecasts for the FOMC expectation as well. And of course, those expectations are all being set at 75 basis point increment. Okay, so last month only, okay, just so one month ago, uh, we've seen a lot of hawkish uh, Federal uh, Reserve members actually coming out to say that, you know, we're definitely going to be doing 50 basis point increment uh, for the next couple of meetings and then 25 basis point for the remainder of the year. Okay, so we're expecting 50s and 25s. And of course, right now, after the CPI data that just came out um, on the 10th of June, we saw month over month going up a whopping 1% in inflation and definitely just makes the feds kind of forcing the arms for the feds to just increase the rates heavily because 50 basis point increment is not going to be solving the inflation issue anymore so gone goes the days that we are going to be seeing 50s and 25s chances are we might be seeing 75s and 50s and even possibly hundreds and 75s so what my own expectation for the fomc meeting is from two different camps okay so my base case and my off case for example so my base case is definitely alongside with jp morgan uh, uh, alongside with uh, goldman sachs alongside with uh, jeffries alongside with nomura putting my forecast for a 75 basis point increment that is my base case scenario and of course, I do think that they are going to be increasing the neutral rate. Oh, well, decreasing the neutral rate uh, for, uh, well, I would say increase uh, te technically, okay? Well, technically it's in increasing uh, due to the debt. Yeah, okay. They'll be increasing uh, the uh, neutral rate and then decreasing uh, the balance sheet. Okay, so the uh, neutral rate, I would expect the neutral rate to be somewhere in the uh, three. 0.5 to even 4 percent of course this is going to be showing up in the scp uh, i think i will most likely be going through that uh the entire report since it's going to be coming out on friday i think i could make it as a saturday video for you guys uh so yeah that's most likely going to be the case okay so but i think all eyes is definitely on the interest rate hike okay because the interest rate hike is what everyone is very very um interested about and intrigued about Okay, of course, I do think that 75 basis point is right there. In, if anything, I would like to float the possibility of a 100 basis point hike over as well. Okay, because let's not forget that right now, inflation is hitting at an 8.6% year over year. Okay, we have already tried our best to shrug off whatever Putin has already set off for us. But right now, we have to look at what happened with the EU embargo on the oil, which make oil prices just shot up food prices are shooting up airline fares are still shooting up and of course it's fair to say that you know you can you know i definitely uh the americans uh, the united states would like to push it all over to putin push it all over to the russian ukraine situation and like i said before i do think that there's definitely some form of a contributing factor from the war but at some point, you like to think that inflation is definitely rampaging so far out that you cannot just peg everything over to the invasion. So, of course, I do think that what Jerome Powell had to come out on Friday, he had to come out super duper hawkish, okay? He had to come out and basically just say that, you know what? Inflation is not going to be going down anytime soon. And the sooner we increase uh, the rate, the faster we can see inflation start to slow down. And of course, I think that in order for him to do so, he'll have to introduce a 100 basis point increment. And then afterwards, maybe the next couple of meetings, we have to see 75 basis point increment. And thereafter, we'll have to see 50 basis point increment. 
I think that's going to be my off case. Of course, this is only on the off chance that Jerome Powell basically comes up as a complete hawk. And of course, from the prior six to eight meetings that I've actually been covering on my Instagram and also on this channel as well, Jerome Powell never really come out as hawkish. He's always either dovish or he's a little bit of hawkishness, but he's overall a dove. So that's where everyone is so afraid of. Because a dovish Jerome Powell is not going to be saving the market. If a Jerome Powell were to just come out to say that he's going to maintain at a 50 basis point increment, true, the market in the short term will definitely rally. But the moment we get the new PCE report or the next CPI report, things are going to continue going lower because inflation is not accounted for. There is no accountability for the hyperinflation going on in the economy. So, of course, I don't think Jerome Powell can just willingly just come up and just say that, you know, okay, I think we can just continue with the 50 basis point hike according to what we said last month. I think that Jerome Powell would definitely have to look at the 75 to 100 basis point increment. And, of course, there are even people who are trying to price in on the market yesterday uh, you know, on Thursday, no, on Monday, when you actually saw one of the worst market, Nasdaq was down 4%. Okay, people were pricing in the fact that Jerome Powell or the Federal Reserve in general might be going on with a rate hike of 125 basis point because it would make sense because they need to just shorten the pain and just stab inflation down immediately by raising rates as soon as they can. So, of course, gone goes those 50 basis point increment or 25 basis point increment. Those are child's play. We need the big boys to come in. We need the 75s, the 100s, and the 125s even to come in here to get inflation down. And, of course, getting the 75 basis point, the 100, the 125 basis point, getting those basis point into the picture is not going to keep the economy up. We're definitely going to be looking at it at a huge recession. And as much as JP Morgan wants to say that this is going to be a 50-50, if we are going to a recession or not, I'm just here to tell you we are 90%. I am mean, 90% sure that we're going to go into a recession. I'm 90% sure. Because the thing is that the moment Jerome Powell says something that needs to be hawkish, if he just says that he needs to go to a 100 basis point increment, that sheer shock alone, even though the market has already been pricing in 100 basis point, most likely, okay, the market is still going to fall into a shock. And that's the fear that there is in the market. So right now, like I said before, just keep on holding on to your cash. You don't have to buy the debt, okay? I think especially what happened in the 2021 craze, we have been poisoned, we have been rewired to buy every single dip we see but don't worry the dips are in no way lacking any shape or form hold the cash and wait for actual buying opportunities but anyway that's all i have for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the